Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here and in today's feature, what I want to do with you guys is chat to you about Audible versus Blinkist versus proper reading and reading with a book that that means. So you've probably landed on this video if you are looking at one of these options as your next way to learn and build your own knowledge and content as you go across the day and you're probably wondering should I go for the 15 minute option of Blinkist or go for the longer version of reading and give you an idea of which one to go with and which one might be most suitable for you. Now before we dive into this video, thanks to Bear for sponsoring this month here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. You can check out Bear in the description below. It's a great writer and note taker application and it's a neat way to write markdown notes, organize all of your notes into uh, hashtags, which is amazing, and tons more. I will include Bear's lovely information below and thanks to those guys for sponsoring this month. So let's start with all of these applications and what they are. The first is Audible. Now Audible is a audiobook application which reads the book to you. So you can buy books using what's called credits and each month you get given a credit. It's about $7.99 per month and you get one credit per month. So you basically can redeem this credit, get a book that is fully read to you. Books can range between anything from six hours to 20 hours on average. And these books are a good way to essentially save yourself time. Maybe you'll walk to work or you go in the car and you wanna be able to use it. Now, on the other hand, Blinkist is an application that takes a book and non-fiction books and condenses them down into 15 minutes. And how it does that is it doesn't necessarily like speak to you in five times the speed of it, but what it does is it picks the key takeaways of each book, um, all of the major learnings, the stuff that will save you time, and then condense it down into the book. Now the pricing is a little bit pricey. It's something in the range of 60 to 70 pound or dollars per year. I'll include the pricing below so that you know, guys know the latest updated pricing. And the application obviously has a, a big library, but again, it doesn't have necessarily the full book. So obviously you're gonna be losing out there. And the final is something you all guys know, it's reading. It's taking a physical book out with you, reading it, and obviously, you know, taking all the lovely information. Now, of course, when it comes to non-fiction reads, this is typically the category, you need to be able to work out which one's best for you. So let's start with the pros of each of these. So let's start with Audible. Now, the first pro is that it's at a fairly affordable price, $7.99, per month is not bad for one book. And on average, you'll read one book. And the good thing is, once you're a member on Audible, you can return a book if you don't like it or anything like that. And the good thing is, it, it actually allows you to read the full book. Like, sometimes you have the author, sometimes you don't. But at least you get to listen to the full book. And through the application, you get to advance the speed as well from anything from 1x or even half x all the way to two and a half X, which will increase the time that you finish the book. Other things that are good about Audible are that it is portable, it's easy, and you can download the entire book, and you can even begin to build a library of books as well. So for Blinkist, there are lots of pros to Blinkist. It's perfect for those who are time poor, those who don't necessarily want to churn through a six to eight to nine hour book, and listen to all of it um, and actually just want all of the good gems from it. Uh, the second thing is obviously that it's really uh, reliable and the good thing is from when you get a nonfiction read in there, they pick out the best bits and it's actually really well crafted. That's something I did know when I was using it. So the good thing as well is if you don't want to listen to those 15 minutes of like the audio version, you can actually read the 15 minute edition in an article format too, which is something that other applications like Audible don't offer. Now, obviously the final element is reading and there are so many pros to reading. The things that I think stand out above the others are definitely that you get a sense of, you know, physically seeing the book in front of you and actually engaging with it. It's a good offline activity, so you're not disrupting, distracting yourself, like checking your phone during the Audible or audiobook. Um, you know, you haven't got phone calls coming in on Blinkist, you won't have like text coming through and distractions like that. And naturally, with a book, it is really easy to read. 
Um, again, books are really portable. <laughs> this is really obvious stuff. But again, it's a really offline experience that you're gonna get, you know, pretty standard. So let's talk about a few of the cons of these applications. Let's start with Audible. Now, Audible is a really good service. In my opinion, I found it really reliable. But again, you're tied into a contract. It's $7.99. If you take yourself off that contract, you can't return the books. So every time you want to buy a book, it's going to be at least $7.99 because you have to start a contract over and again each time you do it. And credits really don't go lower than that. They do occasional sales. But apart from that, you're not going to get lower than $7.99 unless you've got some sort of deal. Um, again, Audible is a, a reliable experience, but a lot of the time the books aren't read by the author, which sometimes loses the originality of the piece. But again, that's totally up to you and your own reading uh, experiences. But apart from that, the cons are pretty good with Audible. So obviously Blinkist has a few cons too, and the first is definitely the pricing. It's not that affordable as an application. Uh, you do get what's called a daily free read, so you can sign up for free and, and enjoy one per day, I believe it is. But again, uh, some people don't like, actually like it being condensed into 15 minutes. They much prefer the full book to be available, or at least uh, more information for people to grasp. Now, I know they're playing around with more formats of it, so I haven't actually checked out Blinkist since I used it. I know that when I used it, I used it when I was walking to work and I was trying to absorb information. But I'd say after like nine months, I had read the majority of the, the books that I wanted to read and I didn't need, necessarily need the service after that. And that's just something I noted. Whereas with Audible, at least every month I get like a new book and I can read the entire thing. And that sort of keeps me occupied for a lot of that time. Reading cons obviously is that it's in a physical edition. You know, you could be bringing it around with you. Um, libraries can stack up. Like I've only recently condensed my books down and given them to charity shops. But again, books are quite expensive when you buy them. Anywhere between £10 and £15 if you're buying a non-fiction book. So again, that cost can add up. So guys, you're probably wondering which one do I go with or which one would I recommend? And I'd say the winner out of that lot is Audible for me. Um, again, I think it's just a more reliable solution. Again, I'm quite young, I'm 25, so it's like, I'm sort of in that sort of, you know, I would say the younger would probably appreciate Blinkist because it's faster, you know, gets all the information condensed down for you. Uh, whereas I know the older generation would appreciate reading and I'll probably get slammed in the comments like, stop trying to negatively include reading. But again, I think Audible's this experience that reads the book to you, um, but again, finds it valuable. And I always say to people whenever I'm reading Audible, I, I always say like, oh, I read that book last month. When I, and then I go, actually, I, I listened to that book last month. It makes me feel less lazy. But the concept of Audible, I think, is a good all-rounder for everyone. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this feature. Um, please do let me know in the comments which one you use, which one you find valuable. Again, thanks to Bear for sponsoring this month. Check out them, available on iOS and Mac. It's a great note taker and also a great writer application. You'll really enjoy it and it is very uh, reliable resource. Anyway guys, big thank you. I'll see you guys in a future video. Cheers everyone.